8 raised to the power s plus 2 raised to the power s is equal to 130. What is the value of s? Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we quickly want to find the value of s from this equation 8 raised to the power s plus 2 raised to the power s is equal to 130. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. We have the equation 8 raised to power s plus 2 raised to power s is equal to 130. Now 8 raised to power s can be written as 2 raised to power 3 or raised to power s plus 2 raised to power s is equal to 130. Now remember this rule that if you have a raised to power n raised to power m this is equal to a raised to power m raised to power n then 2 raised to power 3 raised to power s can also be written as 2 raised to power s raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power s is equal to 130 now from here let's 2 raised to power s is equal to y. Now let's substitute. We have y raised to power 3 plus y is equal to 130. Now this is y raised to power 3 plus y minus 130 is equal to 0. Now 130 is equal to 26 times 5. And we can see that the coefficient of y here is 1. So how do we manipulate this in order to get 1? Then this is minus 25 plus 26. That will give you 1 also for the coefficient of y. So let's see. We have y raised to power 3 minus 25y plus 26 y minus 130 is equal to 0. Y, let's bring y out here. We have y into y square minus 25 plus 26 into y minus 5 is equal to 0. So, if that is the case, here, this is y into y square minus 5 square plus 26 into y minus 5 is equal to 0. Remember that here, this is different of 2 square. That is, a square minus b square is equal to a plus b multiply by a minus b then here we have y into y plus 5 multiplied by y minus 5 plus 26 into y minus 5 square to 0 we can see that y minus 5 is common here. y minus 5 is here. Let's bring it out. We have y minus 5. Then open bracket this y into this y plus 5 plus 26 is equal to 0. Now there are two cases here. Here y minus 5 is equal to 0 then from here we have let's open the bracket y times y y square plus y times 5 5 y plus 26 is equal to 0 now from this side y minus 5 is equal to 0 therefore y is equal to 5 that is the value of y eh? from here we can use quadratic general formula and our quadratic general formula is giving us s is equal to 
minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Therefore, y will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of what? b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Then from the equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to 26. y is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 26 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Or discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac. In this case, the b is 5 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 26. Then this is less than 0. And this is rejected. So the only true solution we have is y is equal to 5. And remember that 2 raised to power s is equal to y. Now, if 2 raised to power s is equal to y and y is equal to 5, then 2 raised to power s is equal to 5. Let's take the log of both sides. Log 2 raised to power s is equal to log 5. Now, we have s log 2 is equal to log 5. Now, let's divide both sides by log 2. Divided by log 2. This one will cancel this. S is equal to log 5 divided by log 2. Or S is equal to log 5 base 2. So that is our final answer. We can check to confirm. If our answer is right or wrong, let's check. To check, we have the given equation a raised to power s plus 2 raised to power s is equal to 130, and s is equal to log 5 base 2. Therefore, we have a raised to power log 5 base 2 plus 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 must be equal to 130. Now let's see log 5 is equal to 0 0.699 and log 2 is equal to 0 0.301 log 5 base 2 is equal to log 5 over log 2. Now, in this case, let's divide. We have 0 0.699 divided by 0 0.301. This is equal to x. So, therefore, s is equal to 2.32. Now, let's substitute. We have 8 raised to power 2.32 plus 2 raised to power 2.32 must be equal to 130. Let's add together. 8 raised to power 2.32 is equal to 125.018 plus 2 raised to power 2.32. This is equal to 5.00. So, this is equal to 130. If you had this together, you have 130 is equal to 130. Approximately, we satisfy the given equation at S is equal to 5. If you enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.